Okay, in this video, we're going to take a look at 1976 AB4 from the AP Calculus exam. Uh, you know, super old problem. I'm interested in it right now because I'm looking at related rates problems, and I think that part A here is related rates. Um, and then part B is just like a bonus problem that we'll do. So let's take a look. So a point moves on the hyperbola, uh, 3x squared minus y squared equals uh, 23, which like, I don't think you really need to know how to graph that to do this problem, but it, it kind of, it's one of these guys, right? Kind of like eating the x-axis is how I refer to that. Um, so we have that. Um, so it's moving so that its y-coordinate is increasing at a constant rate of four. So for part A, we know that uh, dy dt is four, positive four. Uh, how fast is the x-coordinate changing when x equals four? So I kind of actually think this is an interesting question because uh, there's two y values when x is equal to four, right? So if x is equal to four, you get three times 16 is 48 minus y squared equals 23. So then y squared, well, I have to do that work anyway. So let me do, let me do the work. So uh, we are trying to find dx dt when x equals four. So a lot of fours in this problem. All right, so I have three x squared minus y squared equals um, equals 23. So three times 16 minus y squared is 23. So then uh, negative y squared is negative 25. So y is actually plus or minus five, which I don't know if that's gonna have any bearing on the problem. But there's definitely two y values. I don't know. I don't know what the intention was here. We'll see. I mean, and maybe the question is just how fast is the x coordinate changing? Like maybe that's a speed question. Like what's the speed? This is a super old problem, so like you know, there's really no way to know. Um, all right, so I'm gonna find derivative with respect to t of three x squared minus y squared is the same as the derivative with respect to t of 23, right? So now we're in introducing the concept of time. Everything is a function of time. So the derivative of x with respect to t is dx dt, of y with respect to t is dy dt. So this is gonna give me six x chain rule dx dt minus two y chain rule dy dt equals zero. So yeah, I mean, I think there's kind of an issue here. I'm gonna answer it as if it just means speed, I guess. Um, so dx dt, we can, we can kind of explicitly solve for dx dt is going to be 2y squared, 2, 2y dy dt over 6x. So uh, y dy dt over 3x, if you want. Um, and then we know uh, that, so dx dt when x is four, y is plus or minus five, I gotta do it, and then dy dt is four, is gonna be, uh, whew, I don't know, plus or minus 10, plus or minus, oh, the four and the four just cancel, plus or, so I'm gonna get plus or minus five thirds. Um, so what happened there was dy dt is four, x is four, so those really just cancel, and then it's like one third of y, so plus or minus five thirds, I think is dx dt, so I'm gonna say uh, the speed, I don't know, the speed of x, uh, I'm just gonna write dx dt is five thirds, or dx dt is negative five thirds. I believe it can be either of those. Now, let me explain why I think that's definitely true. If we are on this thing and we're going like this, right? So the first time that you hit um, x is equal to four, you're down here and the x coordinate is decreasing because you're moving to the left, right? You're moving left. Then the next time you hit that value, uh, the x coordinate's increasing. So I think either of those is okay. How fast is it changing? It's, I think you can just say it's changing five thirds units per second. I think that's a good answer. I'm just gonna say five thirds. Uh, so x, 
x is changing by five thirds units per second when x equals four. So I mean, sometimes it's positive, sometimes it's negative, but it's definitely changing um, by that. So let's look at b. It's not really related. It's not really why we're here, but whatever. More calculus, more better. So for what value of k will the line 2x plus 9y plus k equals 0 be normal to the hyperbola? All right. So uh, it's, it's almost like an entirely different problem. I need to borrow it. So I'm just going to bring some of this with me, like almost all of it. And then I'm going to forget how to do that. So bear with me one second. Here we go. All right, so uh, all right, so I'm going to solve this for y, and then that line is normal to the curve. So the slope of that is the opposite reciprocal of the slope of the curve at the point. So that means that uh, y equals like negative k minus two x over nine. So dy dx. Well, I mean, you don't really need to find dy dx. Negative two nights. This is the slope of the normal. Okay, if that's the slope of the normal, I'm going to say therefore the slope of the tangent is the opposite reciprocal. So is nine halves. Now, what I'm going to do is find the slope of the tangent a different way, right? So this is the slope of the tangent one way. I'm going to use this to find dy dx. So here, uh, 3x squared minus y squared equals 23. So I could do a thing where I do, uh, d well, can I do that? Do I, do I dt over dx dt? I think I'm going to get 3x over y when I'm done. I'm looking at this thing. And if I divide both sides by dx dt, I get dy dt over dx dt is dy dx. And then on the other side, I'll get 6x over 2y. So I think I'm going to get 3x over y when I find dy dx, but I'm going to do it anyway, because I don't think most people would do the problem that way. And I think it's better to do it in a way that's more relatable. So we'll do this. Adds a little time though, but that's all right. I mean, who's got anywhere to go? 2y dy dx is zero. So dy dx, as predicted, is 6x over negative 6x over negative 2y is 3x over y. OK, so that's the slope of the, the tangent line. So we know the slope of the tangent line two different ways. So now I know that since they're both the slope of the tangent line, this is equal to this. It occurs to me that I don't really know what I'm trying to solve at this point, but um, from the slope of the tangent lines, I now know that 3x over y equals 9 over 2, or y is equal to 6x over 9, 2 thirds x. Okay. All right, and then I assume I'm supposed to take that and plug it back in. Yeah, for what, no, for what value of k? For what value of k? So I think I have to like plug in here. <laughs> There's like a thousand parts to this problem unless I'm just doing it wrong. I have to take what I just found, plug it in here, solve for x, then solve for y, then take x and y and plug them in there and then solve for k. I think that's what I need to do. I'm like running out of room. Uh, I'm gonna rearrange my previous work, which is like, doesn't really matter to anyone, but move this over here, move this up here, uh, maybe highlight this to show that it's my answer, even though I never go back to these, so like no one is ever gonna see that again, but whatever, it's pride, pride of, of, take pride in your work, you know? So then this is all going up here. I'll label it as B and I'm going to delete, delete this thing. Oh my God. Ah, undo. Cause it like, 
Why? All right, whatever. We're just we're just gonna go for it. All right, so I'm gonna take this relationship. I'm gonna sub it in here. This is an advanced. This is why it's part B, I guess. So now I have three x squared minus y squared. So minus two thirds x squared equals twenty three. I assume this is gonna work out really nicely somehow. Not sure how yet, but four ninths x squared, 23, 27 minus four is 20, there it is. 23, so x squared equals nine, so x equals plus or minus three. Oh, good, good, there's two of them. Uh, I was hoping for that. So if x is three, if x equals three, wow, this is crazy, if x equals three, then y equals two. Um, if x equals negative three, y equals negative two. Okay, then I gotta solve for k, right? So I know that two x plus nine y plus k equals zero. So two x, two x plus, 9y plus k equals 0. So here k would be 6 and 18 is 24, so negative 24. And then 2 times negative 3 plus 9 times negative 2 plus k equals 0 would give me k equals positive 24. And then do I have to like, for what values of for what value of k will that? There's two different values. All right, I'm gonna highlight both of them. I'm gonna say that these are my values. The whole thing is the answer. This is pretty sloppy work. I'm not happy about it, but I wasn't anticipating this question being like so much work. Um, all right, yeah, I mean, I think that's it. So we get uh, negative 24 and 24, and up here we get uh, that the speed basically of x. So the absolute value of dx dt is definitely 5 thirds. All right, so that has been 1976 AB4. I hope you found this helpful and uh, good luck.